Yo, what is up, everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now to continue off here, an official PvP. We're picking up where we left off here on these six man tribe servers where we left last time. So I've got these dino pen kind of storage areas, whatever you want to call them, going over here. I'm trying to get all the foundation laid for these. Um, I'm going to be kind of doing a little bit of a different build with this part, just to kind of store dinos, things like that. It's going to be for all of the non-breeders and things like that. We've got our breeding area down below, and uh, we're just gonna keep using that for, for that, and we'll store everything not so good up here, ones that we're gonna like level up for fighting, stuff like that, so let me lay these along here. I'm not gonna worry about like foundationing off these whole things, like the whole platform, because I'm kinda sick of how ugly it looks when it's lining up with like that rock face. It's just kind of, I don't know, it, it never works and lines up you know, in a straight line, and it kind of drives me crazy, so we're not going to bother with that. I've got some ramps and stuff going, so we'll kind of do something a little bit different here. Um, let me get these foundations, kind of lay these. So everything's been going well in the cave. I feel like we're probably going to be scouting some servers here pretty soon. Um, I really just needed to get the gear uh, back to normal. We'll probably be waiting for one more level where I can just mind wipe and like make a crafting character, craft up pretty much everything we need that's left. We've got all of our like flak, um, basic stuff, saddles, things like that all crafted, but we need to go back and make long necks, you know, fabbies, the fun stuff. Really? Can't place? <laughs> Is it this railing, really? All right, there we go. Perfect. And you can still place the railing, which makes no sense. I'm a gamma up here. It's getting dark. Uh, the vision and visibility in here is horrible. Um, it just looks like you're always in like a dust storm during the day. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, people I know have been saying that the gamma looks funny, but you know, I'm trying my best, you know. It looks like, it's just horrible in here. If it's not nighttime, it looks like we're in some kind of, I don't know, the, the mummy returns dust storm or something. I don't know, that's the first thing I thought of. Anyway, um, we've got some ramps here. Let's toss these um, on the back side. I think that's kind of going to be my way of not using foundations. Let's do that there. There. Does that look ugly from below? Eh, kinda. But if you don't know it's there, and since it looks so bad back here anyway, you might not even notice. So we'll leave it. Alright, let me see here. Get these going. Yeah, I'll just do this instead of trying to line up the foundations. have to worry about that. Oh, come on. You're not going to let me do this? Oh, I see it. It's popping up. I think I can get this thing. This might take 10 years. All right, Ark. Work with me here. So, anyway, um, I don't know, really know what we're going to get into today. Probably just a bunch of random stuff. This is just what I wanted to start out with. So, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. There we go. All right, just continue these along. Close this all up. Should be pretty decent. Let me actually fill in this spot. So I envision a ton of these going out throughout the cave because obviously we're going to breed a ton of stuff. We need to go after mutations and things like that. Now we're back to that point. So <laughs> we're, we're going to start uh, filling up these with tons of dinos probably. Anyway, uh, I will continue doing this. We're going to, oh, another thing. Um, we're probably going to start crafting. I think probably the next video or something like that, we'll start working on crafting a bunch of gear, mostly because um, I, I'm going to try and level up my character. It's I'm in that 100 to 105 region, which is really hard to level up. After that, it kind of picks up like crazy um, XP wise. But anyway, then we'll mind wipe and get some, some gear going too. Looking good. Alright, here we go. I think I got everything set. <laughs> I had to do the ramp down with pillars like that, so looks a little bit weird on that point. We'll use it to, I don't know, we'll tie up our dinos to it. They can hang out or something, I don't know. Let me get this foundation here. It's a little trick I always use to fill these in. If they don't, like, try, or if, if they don't try, yeah, okay. If they don't line up with the ground like that, you can put a foundation kind of behind that wasn't quite lined up. I want to get it perfect here. It's a little bit slanted, but I think it'll I think it'll be all right. And we should be able to do a little bit of a little bit of that action. There we go. Look at not obstructed, maybe a little bit off, but it works. 
kind of playing into the fact that this just looks like a giant dust storm. All right, let's see here. Oh, dude, right here. Looks nice. You just always have to stand right here. This looks, wow. Whole new, whole new vision of the cave. Right there, no. Right there, all right, all right. Okay, nope. Well, that's frustrating. I wish it always looked like this. At least I could get up and it doesn't look like, hey, somebody's, hey, somebody's out front. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> All right. Let's go take a look. See if we, see if we've got anything for free. We do get a decent amount of kits over here. All right, turrets are pointing this way. Is that him? Nothing. Sickle. And a pickaxe. Okay. <laughs> Riff, what, what were you thinking, man? You're gonna go mine my spike wall? Okay. Alright, with all this extra room, we have to get more stuff going, of course. Alright, we've got trikes, stegos, racers. Nothing too crazy. We've got some decent stats on our racers and stegos and stuff, so they're not too bad. Trikes are definitely one that I want to get maybe another thousand or so into, but, you know, that's what mutations are for. Let's get these guys a little bit closer over here. I would also like some um, colors on something. I've been hatching all this stuff and nothing comes out with any colors. I mean, if it's some kind of bad mutation, yeah, I'm not going to use it, but hey, I would like something for each dino that we could get like a line going with some, some kind of distinguishable color feature. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me see here. What else did I need to show you? Oh, the reapers. Right here. Getting pretty well set. We've got like seven now. I mean, like six of them are mine. One of them is crazies, but who's counting, you know? I'm trying to get as many as possible because they are actually really good. If people don't have light pets and things like that on other servers, these things are pretty crazy. They can, they can definitely take on a Giga if it's not like a crazy good one and they don't have a light pet, so... I'm going to be reading those things up like crazy, but we are done with almost all of them at this point. Now, as you can see, I have converted this area over fully to some dino storage. We've got them all stacked up there for now. And, oops, my bad. <laughs> what we can do now is actually, I think, just throw some pillars, do another layer, and just kind of do a little ramp in the back leading up to it. And we can just go up probably two more levels just there and then you know more around in other areas let me get rid of this i was out doing berry runs for all these guys but don't really need those right now or want to deal with them so it's actually um early in the morning so or early in the morning in the game so i'm waiting till the night cycle so that we can go out do some metal farming i'll kind of show you how i've been come here you dummy i hate the right claw never works every club or clab every every crab is left-handed evidently because it can't use its right hand for crap so I don't know why I can't just use the top okay I don't really need to deal with the stone at the moment I don't want to transfer it honestly <laughs> we're focusing on some metal we really need that I just use it all on those platforms and stuff so definitely need to get some of that going and since we're we're in need um, I'm just gonna leave them I'm just gonna go put this one away I'm done trying to get him off of everything um, But since we need metal we're gonna have to do that. We'll wait till the night cycle I'm the only one on right now, so we'll kind of go at it solo. I'll have my rock drake on Standby in case any reapers spawn or anything, but usually it's all right. We'll get this guy over here And uh, we'll be back when the next night cycle is here Okay, I've been making actual <laughs> chitin armor we've got so many bps for it um so i've been using like the ones that have 150 dura or higher and just like using up all the extra chitin that i've got i've made saddles up for all these we're all good here we do need to make these racer ones but as long as we've got a couple now it's gonna be it's gonna be all right so i've been keeping the metal nodes in the back of the cave all set oh this guy's almost done too he's got the little icon that he needs care but he's already got 100 percent 
I've been on the ball with him. I've been playing too much, I think. Just always here for imprints. So, all right. All right, here we go. We've got our Anki on the surface. Don't know why Nameless are after me. I've got a light pet on. Leave me alone. You get wrecked. <laughs> all right, get rid of that. Yeah, I don't know why they spawn up here even when you've got the light on. Freaking annoying things. But, look at all this metal. This is all just metal. I mean, it looks like stone. You'd think it would be. But, kind of each region in Aberration has a different looking metal node. So, this is a surface metal node. You know, they've got the red metal nodes in the pink zone. And then blue, obviously, on the ones in the blue zone. But you can get a lot up here. I think we were up here the other day, and we got four Ankies slot capped with metal just in one night cycle, which is like 48 minutes. Don't quote me on that, but it's something like that. With 48 minutes, you can pretty much farm anything. I came up here. I, did I say I pre-cleared this? I don't know if I did, but that's, I, I mean, I did that, so I want you to know. I pre-cleared the Reapers. It's not like you can just come out here, start swinging away. You come out here, kill like, I don't know, I think there was like five of them, something like that. And it was not that bad. With a good saddle and imprint, the rock trick pretty much, pretty much cuts through them. I get all this. And I just kind of go through here, slot cap them. I think I can fill... Oh, let me on, dude. Come on. What was I saying? I think I can fill, like, all the forges just with this section of metal. So we'll just keep going on like this, nice and easy, and uh, right in our backyard. So if we're ever being raided, we can just go uh, do a quick metal trip on a night cycle, and, and it's all right. This is, like, right out the back. If you got, I don't know if you know the logistics of this cave, but this is right out our back entrance basically and it's only accessible to us and whoever owns the other entrance basically now I don't keep the element ore just because it's really easy to get we don't really need that much if I was actually using all this we'd have mountains of element uh, but they do give like a hundred metal per node on the like three times server so I'm not complaining I keep it oh Reaper Reaper come on all right, this is what you do. Take this. Come on, come on. This is not what you do. You take him. Just toss it by the rock drake. We will follow. Okay, that was... I don't know what's up with the crab's jump recently, but something's goofy with it. He keeps getting stuck in, like, the jump animation for me. All right. I don't think he's... I don't think he's got the brain capacity to follow. He's kind of stuck in a wall over there, I think, so... One second, I'll show you. They're pretty pretty easy to kill. Let's go. We'll just get rid of him because he might get unstuck. Yep, he's gotten unstuck. Ah, shut up. He's not that high of level. Yeah, you turn around. He's just, he's just gonna go back. <laughs> Gets unstuck, roars at me, turns around, sticks face back in. Cliff. Perfect. Look at that. It's already getting bloody. Alright, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Now I'll come back. Finish this out. Alright, we're all full. Also, get a little look at the back wall here. This is kind of what I've been working on. It's just going to be a whole bunch of turret towers basically going down. So, I'm not worried too much about a turret wall in itself. Somebody can come blow up the Behe Gate if they want, and then there'll be a whole bunch of turret coverage behind it, so. It'll just kind of be a barrier for Reaper Kings, things like that. Got a decent amount of metal. Honestly, could have done better, but I, w I went out probably halfway through the night cycle, so didn't have the most amount of time, but I think we should be able to fill like three or four. Just come on. Come on. Just drink it. This thing. Let's get you over here. And outside of the spinos, plenty of room now down here now, as you can see. There were all of the like stegos and stuff 
kind of jammed into that area and now we are nice and free of them they're raised up get this guy where he belongs and unload this into the forges so not too bad that's a nice easy metal trip especially when it's like right out the back side where you don't have to worry about anything happening to you except for annoying reapers oh no don't get stuck okay all right not, not not the best of throws Yeah, you better run. I'm gonna come back for you. <laughs> Alright, this is a drop over here. Getting my Reaper out. Isn't this weird? I look like a friggin' alien on a on a, <laughs> a different planet. I hope somebody sees me. Just a dead person here. Alright, what I'm doing now is I'm getting a Reaper out on the center. I'm going to bury this thing somewhere. You're not allowed to know where. Or what, like what, I'm, what server I'm on. But I'm gonna bury this bad boy so that we can start farming artifacts. We're gonna be working towards doing the center boss fight. That way we can get tech turrets, all the, the fun stuff, the fun tech stuff. Minus transmitter, I'm gonna kill this person. How did that kill you in one hit? Oh, this is my health reaper. Just one that I can go bury. So we'll get like the trophies, all the stuff that we need to do the boss fight, and then run it over here on the center. And I think we should be able to do it in a certain way. You, you kind of see, how we'll, uh, we'll attempt it when we get to that. So I hope we can um, beat it pretty easily with just our six-man tribe, but here we go. It all begins. Isn't it weird to see this out here? I love it. <laughs> I was really hoping I'd see like somebody around, but there's nobody on this beach. Where does everybody go in the center? The server was like, cat. no, oh no. All right, don't kill me. Don't kill my moss jobs, man. I'm out here, just getting that poly. Did that red drop just spawn? Dude, what level is this stupid Spino? Oh, I'm just gonna have to gather the crab. Yeah, he was doing too much. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me get this thing. I'm out here getting that poly. What? You kidding me? Nothing? Alright, I'm out here getting poly. What we're building now are explosives. We've got some rockets, stuff like that that I'm trying to craft. Just need all that kind of stuff for defense and also raiding. Hopefully we can find some good targets. Just beating this crab over the head with my moss chops. Always the best way to do it. But you get like, I don't know, let me see, like 350 or so per crab with this guy? I'm not convinced it's the best way. Definitely want to get a bear and bring it to the plants because that's way easier than this. Let me see how much we get from this. 50, uh, 150 and 240. Okay, that's it. <laughs> it's really not that much, but he's still leveling up. He's a little bloody from that spino, but I'm almost slot cap too. So just trying to fill this guy up so that we can get this stuff going. Alright, look at this. I've got us an Arthropleura. The one in my right hand is level 85. And I want to tame this thing up, kind of see how it works. I've been looking for some good ones. Let me beat this one to death here. Okay, we don't need no level 20 garbage. Um, but I've been kind of looking around for snails, actually. Saw this guy, figured we'd bring it back. I kind of want to tame it up with... Oh, I can't jump if he bites me. Let me toss him in the water. Um, tame it up with some spoiled meat because we don't have horns. There's a lot of nameless around here. As always, I forgot my light pet when coming down here. I was just actually going to be grabbing a snail. But if you throw the Arthropleura in, a, in water and de-aggro them, let me get rid of this stuff. Um, they will basically just kind of sit there and let you feed them. So I'm throwing that guy in the water. Hopefully we can tame it up pretty easily. Jeez, there's so much nameless here. I'm gonna have to go get a... I need to go get a light pet or something. This is just ridiculous. Oh, hey. He's back. Right, maybe I should just bring it with me. So I definitely murdered that one. He no longer exists. But we've got a level 95, so here we go. Also, he tried to aggro on me and got stuck in my spike wall, so... <laughs> Actually... Turns out to be a very effective way to tame these. So if you're trying to tame one, you just gotta wedge them in between a couple spike walls, maybe a gate or two. I don't really know how he got in here, honestly, but he's here, so 
Uh, 9.5 taming per spoiled meat, and his ta taming effectiveness isn't going to be too bad, actually, with the, um, what's it, three times rate, so that actually helps out a lot with a lot of these things. Don't really need the kibble, necessarily. Oh, you moving? What you doing? Don't even think about coming out. The first one always takes forever. I'm waiting for him to want to eat again. I hope he's not, like, broken being inside of these spikes. I'm also using bug spray and full ghillie. Alright, just making up the saddle. This is annoying. <laughs> like, what the heck? It takes so many random resources. I'm actually going to have to hold on to the Arthur Pleura saddles that I get from drops. That was always, like, an instant throwaway. We actually don't have any BPs for these, so, you know, whatever. Now, they take, like, what, five times damage from explosives, so that's kind of weird. If somebody's eating your foundations, um... I guess you just run up to them with a rocket launcher and shoot it at it. It'll probably, like, wreck one of these. Also, you can't breed them. So, can't really just mass produce them. You gotta actually gotta go out and tame these, so... I'm probably not gonna be too picky about a level. Like, you know, 90 plus... There we go. See, he came out 141. Let's see what a 95 can do to some metal, you know? I think I'll just tame anything high-ish because we just want a ton of them. This will be the way to save C4. Break people's vaults, break people's foundation spam garbage, and yeah, you better be checking your tribe logs pretty often now because people are going to be running up and eating your foundations with Arthur Pleura, so prepare yourselves. Let me get this guy over to the nearest uh, broken base and we'll see how much damage just one of these basic guys does. Where the crab at? Here we go, McFluffy. This is our low level one. Don't, don't get me wrong, we've got high level crabs, but this guy works. So let's close this. Get this guy over to, there's a busted base over to our right. This might be the way to clear this kind of stuff out, which is going to be awesome. Maybe we find one of these and hold on to it for when we get a cloning chamber. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know if that'll ever happen. But we're definitely not going to clone these. Come on. Hey, let's go. All right, test number one. Let's see if this thing can kill a wild stego. <laughs> Figure we might as well get like a level or something. See if it actually makes a difference. Come on, you can do it. This, this stego is probably like a level 150, you know? This Arthur Pleura is just eat through it. Easy. Level level 10. <laughs> Maybe not. This thing, yeah, not that high of melee. Anyway, let's see here. That was just on the, on the route. We've got this. If we can get through the trees. All right, we didn't get stuck somewhere through there. We got this random weird looking building that what I don't even I don't know what this is. But it's ugly and we need to eat it. So I, I guess it makes sense. These have like an acid breath type thing, so we're at twelve hundred of fifteen. Oh dang. Is that like two hundred? Let's see if it made a difference. Just make a huge difference. Two hundred. You can do the math, I'm not gonna do it. Let's be real here. Something a little over two hundred. Between 200 and 300, I'll tell you that. But look at it. I can actually eat through some stuff. I could sit here with an auto clicker and just eat people's foundations, but probably not gonna do it right now. We need like a whole army. Just where like five people roll up and start eating them. Pump all these into melee and see where that takes us. But I mean, if you really want to like get through somebody's vaults or through somebody's base, you could sit here forever. Oh, dang. Oh, okay. All right. That's an AOE. Look at this. Just lean up on this. He's hitting like six walls right now. That's good to know. You can just kind of like, yeah, he hits in a pretty big AOE. So just try and climb up on stuff as high as you can. It's pretty satisfying to just be able to like eat through stuff though. Now it does work on tech, things like that, but I mean, it's gonna take a lot of hits. To get through like foundation spam and stuff but if you've got enough people if you're dedicated you can definitely do that so i need to tame up more of these things these are these are cool plus i mean i've always wanted to tame them up just because they look pretty dope and have like that especially the aberrant ones they've got like the stripes and stuff 
All right, so there we go. We're going to stop here for today. My outro actually got cut off at this point. So I uh, did go out, finally get some snails, taming up a couple of them at this point, and uh, we just need a ton of these. I'm going to try and start making some good compos, fab snipers and stuff, and they really take a lot of CP, so we need snails. Anyway, uh, that's where we're going to stop for today. If you guys have not noticed, the channel is really close to 100,000 subscribers. Which is insane. I appreciate all the support. I know a lot of it has come from this series, you know, just recently. It's been awesome uh, to be able to do this for you guys. Now we're kind of getting a little bit more relaxed and can kind of go out, get into some PvP. Anyway, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me, and we'll catch you next time.